Hey Taylor, just a quick um, tutorial on how to check um, your orders in, through the back end of your website. Um, now once you've logged in, I've just emailed you the details. So once you've logged in, it will bring you to this page. This is called your dashboard. dashboard. And whilst it looks overwhelming now, once you get used to it, it's actually pretty easy. Um, and it's fairly simple to use once you get your head around it. Now there's two ways that you can check your orders. If you just want a quick screenshot, you can just scroll down to the bottom of your dashboard and you'll see that your WooCommerce, which is your e-commerce part of the website, um, will tell you the sales for the month, how many orders you have in, um, how many products are out of stock, what's low in stock. Um, and that's if you actually have the number of stock that you have for each candle, which is a later tutorial. Um, and how many orders are waiting to be processed. Now to get a better view of your orders, you go to WooCommerce, which is on your side here. Um, and you come down to WooCommerce, and if you click on Orders, it will actually bring you to this page. And as you can see, you get a more in-depth view of who made the order, um, what kind of um, postage they chose, um, and their payment type. Um, in this one, because I'm uh, going to delete the order once I'm finished, but this one is a direct bank transfer. So obviously you wouldn't send out the candles until you've received the bank, uh, until you've received the money in your bank. Once you've received the money, you can put click here and that means that the order is processing. Um, and once you've sent the order out, you can actually mark that off and that's, that says that it's complete. Now to see, um, to get a complete overview of the order, you just click on this little icon, eye icon. And it will bring up here and it will bring up all the details. So it will tell you um, the date of the order. Um, it's on hold at the moment because you are waiting for the bank transfer to come through. But once that comes through, you can then change that by clicking on there to processing. Um, if they cancel, you can change it to cancel or if it failed and so forth. Um, now, you can also go in, if it was a, a regular um, customer, you'd be able to see what other items they've ordered in the past. Um, here you'll see their billing address and shipping details. Now that will actually go onto the invoice that is sent out to them. And this is what I received in the mail. So this is what they'll actually receive. It just states that the order has been sent out, what they actually ordered, the quantity, the price, shipping costs, and so forth. Um, and obviously it's got your details because they've chosen to pay you through bank transfer. But here you can see what fragrance they chose in the colour. Um, and here it's also where if you needed to refund um, because they cancelled their order, whatever the reason may be, you can refund and everything here. These fields here are not so um, important. It's pretty much not relevant um, to the order. Um, yeah, so basically, um, this is where you'll get all your information from. And as, as I said, once the order changes, you can, so say once it's being paid in full, you can, or if you want to put pending payment, just click save order here. And it's now changed to um, pending payment. So once you've received that, then you can change it to processing um, and then once you've sent it out, change it to completed and then it will be stored for your reports. Um, and the reason is you would never delete, um, you'd only put in cancelled if they cancelled or um, don't ever delete an order because it will actually give you an overview in, um, it will actually give you an overview in you know, the coming months on, you know, when your orders were placed, your net sales, gross sales, um, how many orders were placed in, say, the last month. So it will give you a, a good snapshot of how your website's doing and what sort of sales um, you're making. Um, there's, you can also um, do it by view, by sales, by product, by category, and also by coupons, by date. So if you did say, for instance, have a coupon available for, and if you advertised in the newsletter and you gave them a coupon code, 
um, you can create that in there. But again, that's another tutorial. So basically, yep, to check your orders, just go, come down to WooCommerce, Orders, and you'll check all your orders here. As you can see, that's now changed to Pending Payment. And once that changes, then you change it to um, Processing Order, which you can do just by clicking that one icon right there. Okay, hope this helps.